I'm shooting this video from South Korea and you all had questions with regards to how to take a taxi. So I'm going to show you first. There are a couple ways you can take a taxi. There's the neighbor taxi app, Kakao. But what I've found is the most simple. If you don't, uh, if you don't live here is Uber because we already use Uber uh, in the States, right? You can use Uber, just open up your app and it automatically will adjust when you're in Korea. And it looks something like this. So I just booked a ride, or I guess I put in the request and I'm waiting to hear back. But you see the interface looks just like it does when we use Uber in the States. Uh, so right now I'm still waiting for a taxi. It's a bit busy today. It's Sunday, so we'll see. But anyway, it's that simple. You, you put in the address that you want to go to and then request it and then it's fine. And for the most part, it comes out in English. That is how you request a taxi. How about getting in the taxi and what do you say? Let me show you. All right, so now I just got in the taxi. When you get in the taxi and you want to say, please go here, please go to Dongdaemun, please go to uh, Heunde, please go to Hongde. You say the place followed by Ro Ka Chuseyo. Ka Chuseyo. So the Ro is for direction, like go to here, and then Ka as in Kara to go, and then Chuseyo. Like, please do this for me. So, for example, I just asked the taxi driver to go to Busan Station. Busan Yokuro Ka Chuseyo. Busan Yokuro Ka Chuseyo. Which means, please go to Busan Station. When you get in Korean taxi cabs, there are typically two ways that you can refer to the drivers when you want to speak with them. The first way is ajoshi. You may have heard ajoshi as the term for uncle and any gentleman that is older than you, that's maybe like in his 40s, 50s, someone who may have children, something like that, you can refer to them as uncle or ajoshi. It can be in a cab, it can be at a restaurant, it could be anywhere, ajoshi. The second way you can refer to them typically is kisa nim. Kisa means driver and nim is honorific. So you say kisa nim. Whenever you want to address them, kisa nim. Kisa nim. Let's say that you're going somewhere but you're in a hurry. You're short on time and you want the cab driver to go, but you want to ask him to kind of go politely. You can say kisa nim, which is driver. Bali Kajuseo. Bali means quickly. Bali Kajuseo. Kisa nim. Bali Kajuseo. And then he'll say ne, or he will give you a reason why he can't or does not want to go fast for you. If you want to know how long it takes to arrive to your destination, you can simply ask. Oimana koyoyo. Oimana koyoyo. Oimana means how long and koyoyo means like to spend time. How long does it take? How long will it take? Oimana koyoyo. We aren't finished with our ride here yet, but once you finish, you're going to have to pay if you did not order an Uber, right? So if <clears throat> you did not order an Uber, you're going to pay, let's say you pay with a card, you pay with cash, uh, then once you pay, you can say Yang Su Jung Chuseyo. Yang Su Jung means receipt and then Chuseyo means please, like please give Yang Su Jung Chuseyo. And then the driver will give you a receipt. Now let's say you're getting close to your destination and you are actually having to direct the cab driver where to go, like to go left or to go right or to go straight. Here are some phrases you can use. Straight. Juk ka chuseyo. Juk ka chuseyo. Straight. Left. Wen jokuro ka chuseyo. Wen jokuro ka chuseyo. Right. Oren jokuro ka chuseyo. Oren jokuro ka chuseyo. Another useful phrase is if you want to ask the cab driver to drop you off here. 
let's say you're close enough to your destination and you can see that it's really crowded up there you don't want to have to wait another five minutes in the cab just drop me off here please yogi say wall choose a young yogi say wall choose a young yogi say wall choose a drop me off here yogi say wall choose a young Let's say you arrive to your destination and then you it is time for you to pay. And you want to ask, how much is it? Well, you ask, You can also say, How much is it? Uh, mm. Or you can, say, you can say, How much? Because they understand when they say, <laughs> How much? <laughs> It is, it is stop, stop, I'm there. Here it is, stop. <laughs> so you can say it is, it is stop for Yogi say what you say or please let me off here. Busan station, Busan station, Seoul station, Seoul station, Kaju say I'm tired of Perfect. So you just say the name of your destination and then you can go. Kaja. Kaja. And then Kaja. 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 Go. Busan Station. Go, go. Kaja. Busan Station. Go. Okay. Go, go. If you're wondering if there are tolls in Korea, yes. And if by chance you're in a taxi and have to pay a toll, the driver will go through the toll and then that toll is calculated into your total at the end when, you know, you have to pay. When you say, oh, my and then he gives you the price, then it is calculated into your total. Wow.